and she liked it. So do you want to explain what you're doing? Oh, I'm just adding a little bit more olive oil just to supple up the dough because the, uh, as I said, the water, the flour is very fine here, so it's taking a little bit more water than my recipes would say. Now, do you put oil in it because then it won't all evaporate in the way? No, you just use it as a general pizza dough, or it just makes the dough a little bit softer. So obviously it's uh, uh, for a pizza base, basically. Nice. So. Are you going to be banging it on the worktop again? Yeah, I'll be slamming it down in a minute. Right, well, I'll come back. So, um, can you explain what you're doing? Um, uh. I'm skinning pepperoni. <laughs> Right, so you've cut them up and now you're taking the skin off. I haven't taken the skin off. Can I ask a question? Yes. This might be a stupid question, but wouldn't it be easy to take the skin off before no, you do it? No, because I was told by an expert this is the way to do it. Okay. And I never question people no. who say what to do. Okay. And can you explain what you've been doing over here, Brandy? Because I'm grating cheese. You can do that in England. Uh, do you have any particular technique or is it just. Start at the top and go down. Right, good. Thank you. I'll keep away, away, away from the grout. Against the grain. I'm sure our listeners will find that very yeah, helpful. Sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make the rolls ache? Yeah, swear. Are you cross? I am. Asking this question. Oh, there at the bottom of the stairs. Is that to get the air out? No, that is to develop no. the dough, to stretch the dough, and to actually incorporate air as I flick it over. So you're actually putting air into it? I'm putting air physically ah. also into it. This is uh, French kneading this way. Very noisy. Very. I'm assuming you clean that worktop piece. Like that. Indeed, <laughs> sterilised it with Jif. Because I sneezed all over it. Oh, that's right. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Does any bugs will be killed this in the other. This is not <laughs> encouraging people to come to Bulgaria. Really. It's not, don't know. English cooking, Bulgarian style. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, it's Italian cooking by English in yeah, Bulgaria. Yeah, that's right. So you're going to cut those onions, and yeah, the challenge is you are not allowed to cry because oh. you're a big grown-up man. No crying. I've got a solution for that. No, I've got a whole no, list. Do you do you know what the difference is between a viola and an onion? No. Nobody cries when you cut up a viola. <laughs> Very, very useful joke. Thank you. With anything. Yeah, thanks for telling me. <laughs> you can come round my house anytime, Duncan, if you want to watch cut up onions. Yeah. Pretty regular part of the Tack family diet. I do love onions. I love um, pickled shallots. My dad does fantastic pickled shallots. Oh, yes. Love them. Bit of bite, bit of bite in them. Yeah, oh yeah. Shallots and they're much, much punchier, sweeter. How do you know when it's ready? Well, when the dough it becomes more supple, well, I've probably got another good five minutes kneading time here. You can just feel it come just come alive. You can always do the window pan test and stretch it out, and if you can get it as thin as a wimp, um, a window pane you can see right through it then you know you've got all the gluten uh, so I noticed that when you let go of it it sort of stretches back stretches back is that yes you are forming now the elasticity of the dough okay so you'll be able to as you can see it's conforming back so you see these strands yeah it's the gluten beginning to form yeah. when I prove this up for an hour I, you can film that coming out the bowl and you can see all the glands of stru um, uh, the glands of uh, Strands of glue, Strands of not glue. glands of student. Thank you, Duncan. <laughs> Use your words. <laughs> I 
probably wonder what the hell I'm doing. You might have to uh, try that. <laughs> Rob's trying to sleep upstairs. <laughs> well, Rob's listening to his music on his headphones. Go, please, can you do that in time with my music? Yeah. More cheese, Brendan? Grating cheese. What do you think about that? Yes, the, uh, against the grain. The onion. Do you think that's enough? Uh, ask the maestro. Well, it depends if you want onions on both. Yeah, I think it's enough. Yeah, that's the answer, no. And I would probably, yeah, Is it's it? up to you. If you want some more, you can have some more. Well, it all depends what toppings people want. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want some more, you can have some more. Well, it all depends what toppings people want on particular one. You're not going to get the choice, are you? Yes. Yeah. Can I give them two different ones? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. want onions on both? So pepperoni is only one, isn't it? Like a meat feast and a yeah. cheese. Yeah. So you can have a. You can have a meat and. Cheese and onion one, if you want it. Oh, sorry, Tom. That's up to you. Yeah, don't mind. Let's start with that. We don't know how uh, rich that sauce is, do we? Because that could just be like well, a margarita. Like Open it up and taste it. Yeah. <laughs> that might be enough with the cheese. According to George, this should be made of bread. Very nice. Is it spicy? Herby? Not. Not. It's very tomato Right. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't have said it was particularly herby or spicy. I don't know. Don't mind. Down there. Oh, the good bits are down there, aren't they? Oh, what, what was that? That's what we were given. Is that some kind of tomato sauce? Yeah. This is a, a, a traditional Hungarian. Right? That's got peppers in it and everything. Yes. What, even, <laughs> even Bulgaria. We're in Bulgaria, not Hungary. I'm thinking about Hungary as well. Because you are not Hungary. That's it, yes. This video is seven minutes twenty four seconds. So, and you started yeah, doing that. Now, are you? you started that about five minutes before I started videoing, didn't you? Yeah, you normally give it about ten to twelve minutes kneading time, depending on the size of the lump of dough. Well, you're ten minutes or reckon ready, I reckon. That's all right. You can't over knead it, really, to be honest. Where do we get to on the? Um, What's that, mate? Bacon front. Did you want this? Well, you can actually, if you cut the bacon. Yeah. Into like a piece like that, and if you say maybe a third, cut mm -hmm. into threes. Okay. And we could put that over maybe the cheese one. Well, I don't know. Yeah, put it over the cheese one, shall we? Okay. Or just is everybody because at the end of the day you're putting this stuff on last. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, so people can. You can even what I'm leave do, a bit out of. Prove this dough up for an mm. hour. Mm. Divide it, roll it out, put it into these pans. Mm. Let that prove up for about an hour, mm. okay? But we will put the tomato sauce on, okay? Well, actually, I might be able to, you've got to be a bit careful, I might put it in halfway through the proving up process. Then you can put the toppings on top while it's fully proved. So you can just go straight to it. Hmm. Yeah. What's the proving? You proving. Yeah. Right. It's basically time you're giving the dough, the yeast in there, to eat the starch that's in the flour, the sugars in the flour, and then the yeast, and they naturally produce CO2. So which is the gas that I am trying to get the gluten structure just right. So the uh, gas is retained by the gluten structure, hence you get a nice, lovely rice on the bread or the pizza. Okay. If you, is it a pour? If you pour it, if you've underdeveloped it, you're going to get a very so basically That's you're right. leaving it around for an hour while there's a chemical reaction going on. Well, not a chemical reaction. What you're doing in the first bulk fermentation for the first hour is maturing the bread. Okay. Okay, so you're literally letting those uh, little yeasty go to work on that, right. basically. And just, you're, yeah, you're just maturing the, I mean, I could go straight from there, divide it, let it rest for 10 minutes, put it in the pans, but it just hasn't got that. Do you want to say quoi? 
Thanks, Danny. <laughs> right, so, right, so it's an Italian meal cooked by English people speaking French in Bulgaria. <laughs> but somewhere there's hungry in it. I think probably we're hungry. Let's just call it cosmopolitan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And pepperoni is American, isn't it? Or not? Is that Italian? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's Italian sausage, isn't it? Yeah, I think Americans. Pinch everything. Sorry, <laughs> Americans, but you do pinch it once, I do. The onions, we do the peppers next. Do you want the peppers sliced, similar size to the pepperoni? Is that the plan? Yeah, there's not many of them. I would just do little tiny, bit of small, little strippy th type thing. Strip. About that thick, I say. Not too thick on a pizza. Okay. Because, yeah, it's got to cook on top of that. And for our listeners or watchers, we don't believe we're in Bulgaria. There we go. That probably proves nothing, but there we go. Don't you wish you were doing this, Duncan? Don't you feel like you just need to be liberated? I don't know, I, I have to say, I used to love, love cooking and get involved in cooking. I just find it frustrating though. And then I started to realise I wasn't very good in it and I stopped enjoying it, so I kind well, of avoid it. Maybe now's the time to get uh, acquainted and, you know, find your, find your passion again. I think I will be doing that when I get married. You think, you know, if not by choice. Yeah. <laughs> Brenda will give you some dinner, tips. Dinner will be expected. Exactly. Yeah, but that's fine right. because there are some things I, I will... I am able to cook, so I'm sure that uh, I'll start with them and then venture out somehow. You're in a good place. There's plenty of uh, plenty of good cooks around that will share their secrets. Oh yes, for sure. Give you, give you the insight. Absolutely. Is this the recipe we're doing? Yeah, I'm just going to pull it off there, just as a quick rough guide. I know what to do, but just a bit. Gives me a guide of what to put in. That's been about 15 minutes now. And then? Thank Your you. wrist must be aching. Slightly. Imagine if you have to do this all day long. I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean pizzas specifically. You don't have to do this for normal bread, do you? No, the machine does this. Mm. Oh, and then there, so it doesn't so stick. What have you seen these um, Italian restaurants where the bloke picks yeah. up the dough already made yeah. and yeah. throws it around? Oh, yeah, aren't you supposed to throw it in the air? I want to throw it in that. <laughs> no, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Okay. Right, we're going to do the tin, um, the tin four. Oh, I'll tell you what. Um, we don't have anything. Brilliant. So that's proving now. I'll sit now for an hour. Come back in an hour. Come back in an hour. That's why there's so much dead time in bread making. Okay, we'll be back in an hour. So here we are again after an hour. I've had a little sleep upstairs. Yeah. And Martin came and woke me up so I could come to the next Well, bit. we did actually contemplate on that, didn't we? Actually waking you up, I thought. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm only teething, I'm only teething. Yeah. Right. I'm surprised I actually managed to get out of bed before. Right, so we let the dough prove for about an hour, hour and a quarter. It's doubled two and a half times the size, so we've now divided it. So now we're actually pinning it to the pans. So now I'm going to pin it to the pan, let it relax for a few minutes, pin it out so it's all nice, as you can see. That's still shrunk, so that needs to relax a little bit so I can actually just tease the glue down. Did you put oil on them? Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Do, a a lot or just a little no, bit? No, just a couple of teaspoons of oil. Okay. oil. So, so now this one's near enough ready to receive some tomato base. And then we're going to say goodnight for that for about another 40 minutes. So you can have nothing to snooze <laughs> if you want to. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> you like that, don't you? Yeah, snooze great. Right. Better go. Pack. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. That's what I meant. There's packing, yeah. That's Put my clothes to bed. Because you're, uh, Vicky's already done it. The girls have already beaten us to it. Is this Vicky? We'll cut that out loud. 
Um. <laughs> Just don't stick fingers up. Uh, <laughs> 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 um. Just teasing it up. Just needs a little bit more. So we're nearly there. Right, so is that it then? Can I go again? You can go again now if you want to. Bye. Um. So they've been in the oven for how long? Um, about 20, 25 minutes, something. Yeah. 25 minutes. 25 minutes, and oh, they look really risen. Mm -hmm. nice on that. That's amazing. And is that because of all the proofing? Yeah. And then obviously we get the final proof before um, they hit 65 degrees and it kills the yeast. So basically you've got an oven spring as well. So you put, after you'd. Uh, put them in the pans and sort of pin them into the pans. Yeah. You put the tomato sauce on. Tomato sauce, let it come up for about 50 minutes. Did, you covered them though, didn't you? Covered. So you pin them in the pans, yeah. you put tomato sauce on, then you put yeah. them in back, black plastic bags and seal yeah. them and stop the air getting. Yeah, and let them prove for another 40 to 50 minutes. And then you took them out of the bags. Put all your toppings on, whatever you want. Don't yeah. overdo it with pizza. And then put it in the oven, what, 200 degrees? 200 degrees, very hot oven. Very hot oven for about 20-25 minutes, depending on what your oven's on. And now we're going to eat. And that's not going to take 25 minutes. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's a while to get to the <laughs> They're great. They're great. They're like great wedges with lovely toppings. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And go. Fresh. 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 Awesome. Right. So. Now